Are you ready for your feature comedian? <laughs> yes. Feature is the comedian that goes before the headliner, for those who don't know. Um, an amazing act coming up tonight. The night's quite not yet over. Uh, this man, he is the voice of the man who's inside the man. <laughs> of the man. There he is. Chad Vader. Let's hear from Matt Sloan. What's up, bitches? <laughs> I want to uh, I want to talk a little bit about my job. Uh, my job involves a lot of traveling. With, uh, involves a lot of air traveling, and I don't love to fly. Um, but the last time I flew, I it was a kind of a special experience because I actually won a special prize. Uh, I was selected. Uh, maybe some of you have done this. I was selected for the TSA Special Security Screening. <laughs> and they call it special because it is. Uh, what they do is they pick you, they pick you out of hundreds. It's like, it's, it's, it's like you're the chosen one. And they take you to a private area, which it's, it's private because it's totally encased in glass. Uh, <laughs> to protect your privacy. And, um, what they do is there's a shady dude there, and he makes you stand with your arms stretched out like that big Jesus statue in Brazil, you know the one, like this one? And he basically touches and rubs you all over your body. <laughs> now this kind of thing typically makes me nervous, and probably would make you nervous too, but he said a phrase that immediately put me at ease, and, and I'll never forget it. He said, if I have to touch you on any of your sensitive areas, such as your groin or your buttocks, I'll use the back of my hand. <laughs> Thank you. Touch away, sir. Nothing puts me more at ease than a sentence that has the words back, hand, and groin in them. <laughs> totally puts me at ease. So he felt me up for 20 minutes. Uh, he took out all my shit and like stared at it. He's just like staring at my laptop. I was like, dude, just check your email. And he did. And. Uh, so that was that was that for the, the security screening. He sent me off. He gave me a few, you know, farewell backhands <laughs> and sent me on my way. That was also a, a special flight because uh, for the first time I got to fly in first class. I don't know if, I don't know how many of you have flown in first class before, but it's a quite an experience. And um, if you have flown in first class, you know that first class turns you into an instant snob. <laughs> the minute you step in there, you undergo a transformation and you look down at the rest of humanity. You do, you're not a snob towards the flight attendants. No, because they're like your rich friends who give you shit. You're a snob towards those wretched assholes uh, back in coach who are less than human when viewed from First class. Uh, I, I mean, if you've been in first class, you know, you get there, you get on the plane before anybody else. It's so peaceful. It's quiet. You sit and you sip your gin and tonic, which you ordered at 10 in the morning because it's free. <laughs> you have to do that. That booze, that booze is, your, is your sacred birthright. <laughs> Suddenly, you turn into an English duke when you fly first class. <laughs> Give me some booze. Mm. That's my English duke character. He'll be returning later. <laughs> So you're sitting there, it's great, it's awesome, everyone's happy, everyone's smiling, and you get a little morbid curiosity and you look back into first class, and you look back into coach, and it's like fucking fear and loathing in Las Vegas back there. You know, the scene from that movie, which none of you have seen. Uh, there's giant lizards wandering around and they're humping each other and the floor is all sticky and there's children in loincloths who've gone feral. There's a guy in a wetsuit who's trying to sneak a, a goat on board. It's chaos. And you, you, are, you are glad you're not them. Uh, at one point during the flight, a guy actually wandered into first class from coach. I don't know what he was doing. He obviously didn't belong. And I, I, actually, I actually did this. <laughs> I actually did that. It was totally out of my control. I don't know what I was, you know, what exactly I was thinking. Basically, it was like, uh, stewardess, can we do something about this fucker? <laughs> He's not going to use our bathroom, is he? Not on my fucking watch. That bathroom is for me because I'm special. <laughs> 
So that was my first class experience. And I went home, because that's where I like to be. Do you realize that when you're, I was just thinking about this the other day, when you're in your house and you kill a fly, and you scoop up the fly and you put him in the trash, that the fly has literally died and gone to heaven? <laughs> It was my birthday recently. Thank you. She knows about flies. It was my birthday recently, and um, a friend of mine made a, a mix CD as a gift and gave it to me as a gift, which is that mix CD is a great gift. However, I was listening to it the other day, and I realized that one of the songs on the CD, the chorus goes, I hate you, I hate you, I hate you, I hate you. <laughs> I'm not sure what that means. <laughs> There's a parking lot by my house, and uh, they have s spaces that are reserved for certain groups, and they have signs that say, like, reserved for this group. Uh, a, a lot of the signs have, uh, a lot of the spots have big signs on them. It says, reserved for AIDS. And then in really small letters below, it says, network. <laughs> I think that's a misleading sign. Uh, I have some, uh, I have cats. Um, I don't have any children because it's illegal to feed a child from a bowl on the floor. <laughs> so I have cats instead. I have a cat named Ernesto. Um, uh, let's hear it for Ernesto, everybody. Yeah. Uh, he's a great cat. Um, I, he's retarded. <laughs> um, and I don't mean that like in the colloquial, like frat boy way, like, he's a retard. You know, he's, he's a fucking retard. Um, he's great, he's sweet, he's a very sweet cat. Um, sometimes he's a little too sweet, uh, especially when he's making sexual advances toward my wife. <laughs> Which he does. He does. He does. <laughs> we'll, be sitting, we'll be sitting and watching television, as is our custom. <laughs> and he'll he'll be across the room, and you'll see you'll see it come into his head. He gets the, this look in his eyes, the look of like going to be starting something. And he starts walking towards us, and he's got this little kind of slow shimmy. He starts sh it's, it's like he's doing the mambo. So he's like mamboing across the room, and he I know where he's going, and he just kind of crawls up onto Tona, and he kind of kind of straddles her, and, and he starts doing this, you know, this the biscuits. <laughs> He starts doing that, but he does it with all four feet. So he's like, he's just like mounting her and doing this. And he's, look, he's looking right in her eyes. You know, he's, he's staring at her, just fucking. And, and the look is like, I want to fuck you. Which, you don't want your cat really to look like that at anyone, much less your wife. And I wish he would do it to me, because then the look would mean I want to fight you and, and I can take him. Uh, I, I can't do much in this world, but one thing I can do is beat up a retarded cat. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> I'm here for the retarded cat. Uh, I'm going to leave you with something that I read on the internet. Uh, I, have I have a Facebook page, which everybody everybody has Facebook, and um, I don't turn down any friend requests. Anybody who makes a friend request, I just approve it, because I'm too lazy to think like, who the fuck is this person? So I just approve them. So I have a lot of people I don't know who are my Facebook friends, and they all want to chat. Uh, and what happens, what happens is when you're on Facebook, they can see that you're online, and uh, they send you like instant message chats. So I was on Facebook for whatever reason, and I got up and did some shit, because I have a, rich and varied non-virtual life. <laughs> and I came back, and this was on my desktop. This was a, a chat um, that takes, you know, uh, was, on, was on my desktop. This is from Eric. That's what Eric has to say. 10.32 p.m. Hi, Matt. 10.35. Hi. 10.36. Hello. You don't want to talk to me, right? 1038. If you don't want to talk, okay. We'll talk later. 1040. Okay, man. 
where the communication ended. Now, uh, I don't want to sound cynical or anything, but uh, Eric's coming to kill me, right? Yeah? That's what I thought. Well, uh, it's been nice knowing you. Thanks a lot.